Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I can't believe we're witnessing this, but player prices look like they're actually starting to rise on this market. For days, the transfer market looked like it never was going to go up as player prices were just dead and in the mud, and it seemed like we just had another market crash every single day. But fortunately now, player prices are on the rise. We're going to talk about it today because does this mean a sign of more good things to come and will these player prices keep going up into this next weekend's first weekend league competition or is it just a false rise and will this market continue to stay mudded? We're going to break it down a lot today and of course we're looking for upgrade packs on a Monday. I would like a chance to pack some road to the knockouts especially the four new ones that were added into packs yesterday. We're going to cover it all today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's start with SBCs as we usually do. Only one SBC yesterday and it wasn't that good of one. The better content was definitely on Saturday with the Kudus SBC. We had Andre Silva yesterday on Sunday. Honestly, guys, a lot of people I think don't see this as a good value SBC, and I would agree with that. Low upgrade potential and just a card that doesn't look that amazing unless you're a Sociedad fan or you just love the La Liga. 90 composure is nice, really good dribbling stats on that card, but for most people in this game, that is not going to get it done for being an SBC that is requiring three squads and an 87 rated inside of an 84 squad just doesn't really seem to be worth the fodder at this stage i would most definitely do kudos ahead of the andre silva but at least it is a nice sbc player that is content right not great content but it is at least content i'm really curious to see as we're going to talk about later on in the video how many more of those sbcs will get this week. We also had some objectives for Pink Tober. This is a W from EA. Really easy to get done. You can support, of course, um, through those objectives right there. I absolutely love that from EA. And also, guys, one of the biggest W's in news, actually, of kind of content yesterday. This is actually a pitch notes, a title update to FC24. It's coming soon. Of course, right now it just says PC version, but this happened with title update number one as well. It came out on PC and then it was released on the consoles soon thereafter. Guys, it looks like they are addressing issues of stability issues on the ultimate team menus. Hopefully this means that in the next couple of days, an update will be released on console as well as on PC to fix the laggy menus, to fix the crashing menus and all the glitches and stuff that have been going on with the menus on this game, uh, which is something that, of course, is very, very annoying. So that's nice. That might have been the biggest W of content from yesterday. I kid you not. So also yesterday, we did have a big time pack put out in the store. The biggest pack, technically, I think, based off of coin value and maybe FIFA point value as well or FC point value. The Elite Season Opener Pack, 285,000 coins. It's 45 rare gold players, all 80 plus. You get a couple of lone players in there as well. Guys, the pack percentages on this. 10% for a UCL Road of the Knockout player. That's the highest number that we have seen on some of these pack percentages. Now, of course, you did have the new mini release of cards added into packs, which could contribute a little bit to those percentages going up. Of course, it was the four cards of Lamer, who's extinct on the market right now at 190,000 coins. Guys, kind of similar to Sokka in the sense of an extinct card. I think this card on the market with the way these cards look on the market and the fact that he is Bayern with a playstyle plus, he is definitely going to be worth more than 190k. I know his nation links aren't that good, but he's Bayern, right? That would say to a lot of people, this card's going to get upgraded. Of course, Bayern being the team that they are, the chances that they have to get upgrades for this card. People value the playstyle pluses so highly. He's got uh, four playstyles and one of those uh, playstyle pluses being block. That's an incredible one to have as a defensive midfielder. So I think he's actually going to end up being more around the lines of like, if DePaul is 250k, why would that card also not be at least like 230 or 40,000 coins as well, especially being more rare for being in a mini release? I think he's going to go up and be around 250k plus once that price range is updated. But it is not updated right now, so he is extinct on the market. Now, also yesterday, we had Mertens dropped into packs. He's 40k. Looks actually okay for a 40,000 coin card. We also had Dodo, who's 85,000 coins as a Brazilian right back. He was extinct at 100k, and people started listing him up. Guys, this is a card I would keep a close eye on this morning on Monday. As we head into the day, this card has only been on the market now for a couple of hours. Uh, as you can see, people started listing him down just a couple hours ago. Keep a close eye on this one because um, 
He might get to a really, really low point this morning if you want to trade with this card. He might get panic sold and go real, real low. Maybe like I don't know, 65, 70,000 coins he could maybe drop to. And then he could rise back up from that. He was already 83k at one point. Right now he's 85. I would watch out for more panic on this card today as people who invested in him right away thinking he was going to get a price range update and be worth more will be panic selling that card off. So watch out for Dodo. Nice card, but... 85k is too much in my opinion. We also have the Pedro Gonzalez, who is basically fodder. So four new cards added to packs. Quiet day yesterday, right? Besides the couple extinct cards and besides the, honestly, the pitch notes being the biggest W to look forward to, kind of a quiet day. Now, the bigger news from uh, the market yesterday and since content wasn't that great, and maybe it's because a little bit of the panics uh, selling and the supply is slowing down, guys, prices are finally starting to rise on this game. We're taking a look at a couple of player prices right now that are up, right? Rafael Leal was almost 160,000 coins just a couple of hours ago. I'm looking at guys like um, Guidharo, who's a card that I've traded with a lot, who was, she was 35, 36,000 coins, and now she's almost like 50K. I think she's like 46, 47,000 coins, couple at 45. Player prices are rising, guys, and it's, they're rising for a number of reasons. But it's not just because people are investing. I genuinely just think this is genuine team building and people buying players for their teams demand because they are upgrading. They're getting coins. Squad battle rewards yesterday was definitely a part of this as we kind of thought would happen. Griezmann was 82K at squad battle rewards yesterday and Griezmann's now 95,000 coins. That was a big, big influx of coins to the market yesterday with a lot of people, a lot more people getting squad battle rewards, and you're just seeing the market go up a lot because of it. Now, Walker at 115, that's a buy, in my opinion. Uh, after yesterday, he was 112 at his lowest point. I saw him as high as 125,000 coins. Not sure why he just dropped off 10K. That's why you love the fluctuations. But we're starting to see those prices rise, guys, like everywhere. Saliba, 59K. Kunde, 172,000 coins. Um, your out-of-packs cards are some of the cards that are rising up the most. What cards are rising up the most? Let's answer that question. Uh, Cancelo was 44,000 coins. Of course, he is out of packs because his inform is in packs. He's all the way up now to 52K because of that. So a lot of those out-of-packs golds, I think Hyunmin's son, and maybe even uh, Sokka right now, because Sokka, of course, has the road to the knockouts it's in packs. These guys are rising up the most just because there is less supply and they're still in very high demand for a lot of people. So GG's if you invested in those. My guy Erling Holland, who I still have on my transfer list, it's taken him a hot minute. 470k, like... I was hoping for 500k plus. I'm still holding out because I think you can get there. But at this point, it's like, is it really worth me holding out for the extra 20 or 30k when I could have sold it and, and used those coins to trade with? Anyways, small issue for me there, having invested in Holland. But also what's rising on the market is just your high-rated meta, guys. We talked about it this weekend. The stuff that was going to go up first was the high-rated because it is less supply, and it's what people would be upgrading to in their teams. Bon Mati was 220 yesterday. Now she is 270,000 coins. That's one of the biggest rises out of the entire market yesterday. Tonali is a card, right? We talked about Premier League being very, very hyped at the moment. Premier League cards, 98K for Tonali, all the way up to 110. And he's probably going higher than that today because he is one of the best, if not the best, box-to-box um, -box defensive mid in the Premier League on this game. Guys, people are getting coins and they're upgrading cards in their team. And that's why you're seeing these prices really start to go up. Now, the question is, will it keep going? And to be completely honest with you, I was alluding to it earlier as I was mentioning some of this. I, I do think that it is going to continue to go up, guys. I really do. Now, it's also, I'm speculative because what have we known the market to be in the past couple of days in this game? We've known it to be mudded, right? And prices haven't moved that much. And it's been not a very fun time to either buy cards or it's been a very just like unsure time. And right now with the way prices are going, it starts to, it's starting to feel like this market has some legs underneath it and it has some momentum. And I like that going forward, especially because... What does the weekend always bring us, right? A lot of the packs and the supply, and that's kind of ending, right? A lot of less people open packs on the weekends for the new promo cards that come out on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And then you get into the weekend, it's all about let me play my rivals and squad battles and gameplay to get these other rewards from these other modes. Not to say that there could not be supply. There could be a pack SBC. Again, guys, that's all. That's just how this game works, right? EA has the opportunity, if they wish, to drop packs and drop content on this game that could adversely affect the market on a moment's notice. 
But uh, with the way things are looking right now, this is what we were hoping for. We were hoping for a market rise and to finally see it here is so amazing. And as I started to say, guys, I do think that prices on the market will keep going up today. Remember last Monday when we only had a portion of the game, uh, player base on the game, prices went up a lot on Mondays. Actually, last Monday, if you do remember, was the peak for a lot of these card prices that then ended up coming back down. Like remember Diaby, Monday and Tuesday, 73,000 coins for his card, right? And we've just been on a downslope, downslope, downslope since then. Now we're starting to go back up. And I think that's going to continue into the week. I really do because it sees it just seems like the supply is ending the panic is ending and you're going to see prices start to go up again now will prices go back up like for the diaby will he go all the way back to like 73,000 coins especially with the kudus sbc that's already been out and hurting his card price i don't know will messi go back to 250k i don't know like a lot of supply has happened between then and now for packs that were open on the weekend. And I really keep mentioning supply, guys, because to me, it just feels like the supply this year is really the biggest aspect of why this market is as low as it is. It just seems like these gold cards got supplied into oblivion. Um, and that's really what's hurting their prices and not making them rise up as much, right? We didn't see the big rise on Friday that we were hoping to see based off of previous years. But with all these new players on the game, the women's players being added in, much larger player pool. I think it's dividing interest, and that's, you know, making players not go up as much because there's more uh, other opportunities for people to use this player and this player and this player. And also, it just seems like EA have somehow turned up the pack weight or something, and it's probably because there's more cards in general too, but it's just like the supply seems to be so much. So to answer the big overall question, will the market rise keep going? I do believe that it will be. If you're trying to invest and you're like, Nate, where can I invest right now to look for an opportunity to see price prices on certain cards go up? You can see I'm broke at the moment, right? I was late to the, the party for a lot of these cards. I missed out on a lot of the low prices as we just looked at like Kunde. I think he was 150,000 coins yesterday on Sunday, 152 at rewards. I missed out on a lot of the, those low prices. And if you're like, Nate, I did too. I want to buy some stuff. Where can I look? What I would tell you to look for is look on this popular page. Players, drop down tab, popular. Because a lot of these players are the ones that people want to use in their teams. And look for some higher tier, higher rated and meta cards that aren't up that much. Like one card that I look at right now, Musiala, 69,000 coins. He links to Harry Kane in the team of the league. He, he links to the, the lamer card that's going to become uh, unextinct at some point. Yes, he had a low of 67, 66,000 coins yesterday on Sunday. He's only up a couple thousand coins per card. He got a massive upgrade. If you're using a Bundesliga team, that's a guy you're going to upgrade to. I think he still has room to rise. I think Varane, even though he's 85 rated and a bit lower rated than some of these other cards, still has room to rise, right? Yes, he was 96K and he went all the way to 105. But if you can snag one of these at like 100K or maybe below 100K on a bid or on a snipe, this is like one of the best, if not the best, besides VVD, Prem center backs in the game. And we know there's so much hype around Premier League right now. I really like the Varane card. I still think that he can go up. That's what I would be looking around the market for. Now, some cards like Jude Bellingham, I think Jude Bellingham might go up higher in price today, even though he's already up a lot. He was 83, 84,000 coins at the squad battle rewards time. He's going up because people think he's going to get into the team of the week. Watch the team of the week predictions that Footbin puts out today. Because last week, um, Hakimi was in those predictions and his price absolutely exploded. Uh, even if he doesn't end up getting in team of the week, the predictions on these big websites make a lot of difference as well. That's one place you can look at. So overall, I would say scroll through this list and look through some really top tier players that you think their prices could go up some more and then put them in your team um, or just invest in them. And I mean, really, it's just kind of a holding situation. We're hoping that the prices will continue to appreciate as we get towards the latter parts of the week. Informs, right? I really think, guys, this year with the informs, the new trend is going to be we have to buy them on squad battle rewards on Sundays or around there. Because look at what happened yesterday. Harry Kane was 140 before rewards, went down to 124, which I believe was almost his lowest point. And now he's up into the high 130s, almost 140,000 coins again. I picked up a couple of Matomas, as you saw on my transfer list. I literally just bought him, though, because he was like undercut at 28,000 coins. Um, his lowest was 27K. I know he's a little bit lower on Saturday. He was like 25 at his absolute lowest point. But this is a card that I think a lot of people want to use because of the Ansu Fati 
that is uh, almost everybody is doing via evolutions, and it's Matoma in general, a solid, solid card. I think the team leak has more potential to rise too. Again, there still could be supply today. A pack supply SBC could drop and make some of these prices fluctuate. But as we get towards the end of the week, guys, I do believe there is room for the market to rise more. And we might just be heading into that first weekend league with a nice market rise heading into that as there is more demand for people to build and buy those teams. So I picked up some higher rated. I actually have a lot of Sam Kerr. And that's like, Nate, why did you invest in Sam Kerr and Matoma? Because they were still low and I liked their prices at the time of me getting on the market. I bought Sam Kerr on Saturday for 175K and sold her at 190. And so today when I saw her price at 175 again, I was like, okay, the whole market's going up. Sam Kerr is one of the cover stars on this game, 90 rated, and her card price hasn't like gone up at all. I'm gonna pick up a few of those, right? So that's where my coins are at the moment, and that's kind of how I found that buy. Do the same thing. Look around the market, look for some more buys like that. Gold cards, heroes, right? Heroes have started to go up, but I still think, guys, there's plenty of heroes that are on this game that have a potential to rise more. So definitely take a look through a lot of those cards as well and just invest wisely and smartly and kind of think through, does this card check all the boxes? Is it higher tier? Is it meta? Is it rare? Because those are the things that are going to make these cards go up even more in the coming days as people continue to upgrade to new and better cards in their teams. Now, let's talk about today on Monday. As we mentioned, maybe EA would drop a pack supply SBC. That's always something we have to put in the back of our minds. They haven't done it since early access. Like, you know, again, I'll mention it. The Liverpool and the PSG SBC, we really haven't had much like that. There's been a couple of SBCs here or there that give out packs, but nothing like those specific pack-based SBCs. We could get one of those today, but what I'm really looking out for is upgrade packs, guys. We had the 78 plus upgrade that dropped last week. Only four times a day we could do it, but it required, was it seven or eight common gold cards? Hopefully today with a promo, I'm actually, I would be very expectant of upgrade packs today, like almost 100% chance that we get some sort of upgrade packs because it is road to the knockouts. A 78 plus upgrade would be something I would expect to see. A 78 plus double would be even better. I would much rather turn in like 11 non rare golds for 278 plus cards. Now, upgrade packs are fun, they're nice, and of course, you have a good opportunity to pack somebody from the promo team. Not a good opportunity, you, you have an opportunity, right? I'll tell you I'll tell you this though, just be careful doing upgrade packs this early stage in the game. Yes, you can go out on the market right now and bid on some of these non-rare golds, try to win them at 300 to 350, and stock your club if you do plan to do some of those upgrade packs, because I would imagine that they're going to require non-rares and that they would not require rares. Um, that's something that they honestly shouldn't do, especially this early in the stage in the game. I don't want to turn in rares for a 78 plus upgrade pack anyway. So maybe if you're going to do a couple of those, stock your club with some non-rare golds. But I wouldn't spend too many coins on that, guys, because again, this is the time of the year where we have to be careful with what fodder we're putting in SBCs and how many coins we're spending on fodder just because of coins being so important in this early stage of the game. Now, quickly, once again, pointing out fodder, um, like I said at the beginning as well, this today's content and tomorrow and the next couple days of this week are really going to tell us what EA is planning to do with this promo because we're still missing some runs, road to the knockout players, big clubs, right? We're missing like a Barca player, missing a PSG player. We're missing a couple of clubs inside of here that we think would be getting a live card to represent that club in the big uh, competitions. Now, are we going to get a team two? We're unsure of that. If we keep getting player species every single day, like we had the Bruno Guimaraes, the Kudus, the Andre Silva, if we get another player species today, then maybe that would signal to me that we're not going to get a team two and then we're going to get a different promo after this. And then EA is going to sprinkle in like maybe other objectives and SBC cards inside of Road to the Knockouts this week to get us some of those players from those clubs. And in that case, if that were to happen, I mean, think about those big clubs, there would be a decent amount of hype for some of those players, even if it's not the most meta player, but if it's a Barca player or if it's a PSG player, if that were to happen, you could see some fodder going up. So I still think fodder is an okay investment. I don't love it because it is up a little bit. 84s are probably the most popular investment right now. And I understand why, because they're literally discard price. So 84s on 1.1K bids or 1.2K is a good club stock, I still believe. But, you know, watch 85s. I actually think the 87s moved the most. Like, I mean, 87s went up the most when the Kudus SBC came out on Saturday. You can see Cobell was 9K, went up to 11. Yesterday, they went up even a little bit more. Could they go higher today? Yeah, maybe a little bit more, especially as people get upgrade packs. Maybe they're more 
apt to do a player SBC. So if we're going to get a lot more player SBCs, fodder could be a buy and you could see it rise up a little bit more throughout the week this week. But kind of just gauge that today at content maybe because also we could be getting a team two of this promo and that would mean not as many SBC players this week and EA would put a Barca or PSG player in packs for team two. So we'll have to see because right now the only things that have said team one are EA's website or like at the Instagram or Twitter post. Nothing in game says team one. Maybe we'll learn a little bit more about what's coming next later on this week. But for the here and now, the market is rising. We absolutely love it. It's great to trade. And after we talked about it in yesterday's video, hopefully you guys are motivated to trade and go out and, and get some cards because there are cards that are moving. Uh, and they're moving pretty considerable amounts, as, of course, as we saw in yesterday. And I expect that to continue as we go on through the week this week. Well, I would love to back out of these menus, but the game glitched for me here again. So EA, drop this update as soon as possible because... I'm tired of the menus being this laggy. But if you enjoyed today's video, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a stream today. That link's down below in the description. See you guys there. Peace out.